John Kell had a very successful week last week, defeating Mount St. Joe's in overtime and the MIAA Conference semifinal, then defeating Boys Latin in overtime at Harvard Community College for the MIAA Conference final. Inside is Moore. He's blocked. And Martez Mathis on a foul against John Kell. The winner plays Mount St. Joe's tomorrow. And either team has history with the Gales. So we expect a good one either way you're looking at. Either way, it's going to be exciting. And in this game, the one you want to watch out for is Emmanuel Quickly and John Carroll. He's already committed to Kentucky. That guy's got some serious talent on his hands. What he does is more hits the first. Did the game here against Polly maybe about seven weeks ago here. And the big man for St. Francis was the key. Let's see if they can be that again today. And this one. Feed the horse further on. Body blows, you know, it's more like boxing. So get those big guys involved, pound in the post. It's Mel. As Mappis takes it inside, missed it. Jump ball with Jones and Bracken. And the ball's gonna stay with the Patriots, which is in their black road jerseys today. Both teams wearing dark colors. I figured one yeah. was hot and white. That's not interesting to me. It is. Blocked by Moore. As the ball comes back the other end, the ace, Adrian Bowler. That was a pass. Jones, offensive foul. He says he went up. I was like, it's going to be a foul. Somewhere else, the offensive one charge, and it's going to be a foul. Quickly brings it back up. 
Street. Back over to Glockton. Kiss. Ismail. Tight. Missed the layup. Offensive rebound. Tapped it. Ball's going to go to St. Francis. Got a volleyball tapping going on there. It's trying to get a crowd at basketball. Definitely not. And, and, and you just knew that that was going in, but it didn't happen. No. Fortunately not. Didn't have enough on it. Yeah. Jones back over to Moore. Ball with it. Jones back over to Moore. Ball with it. Pulls out for three. Hits it. Oh, that. Five nothing. One thing you, you see about St. Francis here, Byron, they play as a unit, and that ball moves quickly. Shoot and quick. Diop with the foul. Or foul. by Manuel quickly. second. He felt that one, I'm sure. He took a hard shot on the way down. First shot here. Not good. Now, earlier in the first game, we saw we saw uh, the, the star player for now say Joe start off. Sort of slow. Quickly yeah. like hits the second. That's a three from Jones. No good. Offensive rebound. Elijah Epps puts it in. The Baltimore Catholic League Defensive Player of the Year scoring on offense. Timeout by Cosito and John Carroll. John Carroll calls a 30 second timeout. That's the first charge. Timeout. <laughs> You know, as great as talent is, sometimes team effort usually prevails out more in St. Francis. Has shown that in their two meetings this year against. Yeah, you know, that's the other team game is this is five minutes on court. You can't do a ball by yourself. You've got to have some help. And if St. Francis needs to play that team style basketball, I think they're the ones that have come out on top tonight and advance as well as they need to be there. Definitely true there. And you got you to gotta believe when. John Kell, though. It's all been a story. Can Mathis and Quickly play together? Yeah. And I know you're probably seeing so far that same, you're probably asking that same question, too. I am. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how it is going to work with this, this John Carroll team. Come back here quickly against Baldwin. That's always a matchup to look for. That's a three from Haunter. Hits it. Uh, like we just said, getting the others involved here. There go Jones again. That one didn't go that time. It's going to go to John Carroll. Back the other way comes Haunton and the Patriots. Mathis for three. That one's short. Watson, whoa, look out! And down goes the Gatorade. <laughs> Mr. Williams coming past us. Moving to St. Francis tonight. Gatorade's flying everywhere. We just started the game. Yes, indeed. My Japs brings it up. Well, Bobby, you've seen the number one team, BCL first team, whose ball went in Elijah Epps. As Jones had it briefly. Here comes ball went against quickly. Good defense about quickly forcing the shot thing. Jones, that was not a good shot. Drop, missed it high off the glass. Quickly grabs the rebound, brings it up court, fast break. Mathis. He walks. Yeah, they're gonna call him every time. Man. Man. Sorry, it was Luke Skywalker there, by <laughs> Yeah, there was some, some use of some sort of force going on there, if you will. Of course, the winner, of course, will take on Mount St. Joe's tomorrow afternoon. 
and that first game was really good. Came down to the wire. The three point finish in that one. They got to Moore. Moore got protected. Drop right back and he puts it out. Nine to four. The Panthers. Haunting. Brockton. Pulls up. Missed him. The rebound over to Moore. Back to Ace. For three. It's it. Elijah Evans. It's a 12 4 game. Right now, team play is off in town. Foul off the ball against St. Francis. You get, you get. Yeah, and AD and coach. Coach of the year in the Baltimore Cavalry, by the way. Nicholas Miles. Gotta give him a lot of credit. Brady Miles did a really good job at this point this season getting his team to the number one seed here in the BCL tournament. And he's looking to show why team ball can, like you said earlier, beat talent any day. Quickly brings it out. Quickly doubled. Back over. Haunting. Missed it high. Offensive rebound. That one's no good. Lombard. And here comes the ace. Epps again. Hits again. Elijah Epps. On a roll. He's Hot hand, keep getting that man the ball. It's a 14-4 game. This is a great matchup right here. Quickly, pulls up, missed it. Kiss, drop. <laughs> Fantastic to see through basketball. This is textbook St. Movement. Francis play. Textbook team basketball. That's what this is. And it is. Back to Byers. Short. Back the other way is Jones. Jones back. Jones for three. That one's hot. Tap back. And then Epps gets it. Fresh shot clock. Baldwin. Face the shot against Haunton. And turns it over. Back the other way comes John Kell. Mathis, we know what he can do. He's shooting two. Well, this is the ball on the way up. 14th foul against St. Paul. That's unfortunate. Lost <laughs> the ball on the way up to Mathis. And he's he hit the total a little bit. Could have had to at least get the shot up. <laughs> Fan club there for uh, Montez Mathis. Whoa! No. Can't no. describe that type of free throw. No, you can't. Let's say it wasn't good. Montez, San Clemens. On the line for the Patriots. Seems like John uh, Carroll might be a little Jack rattled Lopez. here to start. Yes, he is. It's not like the first two meetings. But both teams is going back and forth. Second shot missed also for Max. Do we have a, what do we have here? Substitution for John Carroll, number five. Nigel Horton checks in. He replaces number 23, Montez Max. Late substitution. They got it back on track. Yeah, I know like he was coming up the court holding his hand or this or something, so hopefully he's all right to come back in and help his team. Yeah, because that, that free throw was not typical. No, man. that person was not good at all. Inside the Diop. More. That's Jordan Tolles with the two. Nice job by Tolles. Cutting to the middle. Jordan Tolles like to throw it down also there, Bob. You might see one or two of them. All the at some point. Haunting. Oh, against Jones. Missed it. A lot of ISO ball right now for John Kell. Yeah, that isolation can only get you so far. Baldwin pulls up. In and out. Offensive oh, rebound of Moore. Puts it in. 20 to 4. And John Kell, which did not have to play St. Francis last week in the MIA Conference Championship game, 
Yeah, it's getting dominated right now. Yeah, Charles Bale looks to be out of sorts right now. St. Francis really putting it to him. They're doing everything right as far as team, team basketball goes. Rotating probably on defense. Passing to the pass. Open man with the extra, extra passes. Open man getting the shots to fall when they need to. If this keeps up, this is going to stay ugly. Not what the folks here had in mind. I see John Carroll running through the MIA conference playoffs. Hey, they had tough games, granted. Two overtime games. But in between them was defeats, was wins against Conver Hall. Their last defeat was against Mount St. Joe's back on February 12th. Yeah, and that was a 10-point loss that was 71, so. It's not like it was a it was a uh, you know a blowout loss or anything. It was a very manageable game. And, and correct myself, they lost to Goretti too. They did, so they were coming. They're coming off of that win against Cabral Hall. On a, they snapped their two loss streak with that win against Cabral Hall. Like and also win against Boy Latin in my eight conference play. Before that, so they might have been a championship last week. That was their second year in a row winning the tournament. Uh, no, no. Uh, Mount St. Joe's won it last year. But for John Carroll, the second win in four seasons. So. Thank you for the correction, That's why yep. you're here. It's all good. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for not going to ball versus John Carroll. He tried to save it. Definitely tried. Puntikin tried to save that one from going out of bounds. Almost did just that. Bring it off the court. Loads it back. That's a three from Toes. It's it. My goodness. Quickly, let's see what he can do. He's shooting two. He's shooting two, but on defense, John Carroll, you cannot be like a days. You've got to get a hand in the face. is much quicker than that. The hesitation, am I gonna am I gonna contest or not? You've got to contest at all times. Both teams got here by blowout wins, respectively. Mount Kelmo went down to St. Francis on Wednesday night, and John Carroll was the first one missed. Went down to the Hall at home. And also for John Carroll here. Byron, this is their first road game since that boys' Latin win in out the regular season about two weeks ago. So they've either been in the confines of Joppa Town or over at Hartford Community College, which is close to the campus of John Carroll. So as much of a home game, true road as much away game as it can be anyway. Yeah. It's to be a neutral site. So this is the problem they have been away and it's showing right now. Down 18. I bet you a lot of people wouldn't have had that. Toes travel. And yeah, they're going to call you tonight. More times than not. Quickly brings it up as the game clock and shot clock is two seconds up. St. Francis in a man to man. Twenty seconds. Quickly. Nice help defense. Nice help defense indeed. Brockton got to pull up. He can't hit him from outside, but when he's set, not like that. No, those are always tough to hit. Baldwin, and then out the quarter. Inside, got it in, and that's the end of the quarter. And for St. Francis, offensively, they have done no wrong. And after one is 25 to five, St. Francis the BCL MIA cut seated Panthers rolling. Come on with you with the second quarter after that.